Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We give you gr greetings from Shiloh Full Gospel Missionary Baptist Church, where our pastor is Bishop Freddie Edwards, Sr., and we welcome you to our Bible study on today. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. We reverence God this evening, Amen. honor to all of you out there along with our bishop, and we're just happy that you chose to join us today. Amen. Now, hit like on your video, share the video with others so that they can hear the word of God, Amen. and we're just de delighted that you are joining us today. Amen. My name is Minister Wertha Moody, and this is my esteemed colleague, Minister Tashonda Washington and my very dear sister in the ministry. Amen. And we just want to thank you all for this great opportunity that we have to share the word of God with you today. Amen. And we're not going to prolong the time, so we want you to grab your Bibles, grab your notebooks, grab your pens and pencils, grab a receipt, from your pocketbook, if you ain't got no paper, Amen. and just take down some notes because we have a word from God today, but Amen. you're going to be able to relate. I'm sure that everybody will be able to relate to this word. Amen. Now, we'll be coming from Romans 8 and 28, and um, I'm going to turn it over to Minister Washington so she can go ahead and, and get into the word. Amen. 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 We will be coming from Romans 8 and 28. And tonight we're going to touch on overcoming disappointment. And I'm going to go ahead and start and read the scripture. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Amen. 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 And disappointment is something that we're all going to deal with at some time in our lives. Yes. Um, it's going to come, but it's how we get through those times that's going to be the crucial point. And I want to start by defining what the dictionary defines disappointment as. It's a form of sadness, a feeling of loss, an uncomfortable space between our expectations mm. and reality. Yes, yes. So in other words, it's when our expectations or our desires are not fulfilled and we feel disappointed. Right. And first off, I want to say that it's not a sin to feel disappointed. Right. Or nor is it a sign of weakness. Absolutely. But again... Is how we overcome those disappointments. It okay. seems like a simple emotion, a harmless emotion, but we have to be careful with that because with that, if we don't handle it in the right way, it can hinder our spiritual walk and it can cause us to become bitter or resentful. That's right. Amen. That's right. And one thing we have to realize with emotions, our emotions are supposed to be a gauge, not a guide. Mm -hmm. They're not supposed to lead us around like as a dog on a leash, yes. but they're supposed to be a gauge. Okay, I'm angry, I'm feeling this, I'm disappointed, I'm feeling this. A gauge, right. not a guide. They're Absolutely. not supposed to drive you. Amen? Absolutely. And Amen. one thing that's important, we have to recognize when we're feeling that emotion. And it's good to feel. Because if, when you're feeling your emotion, a lot of people try to hide their emotion, but it's good to feel, you know, because that means you're feeling. You're feeling in your innermost man. Amen. And you're being in touch with your innermost man. And as I said before, it's not a sign of weakness, nor is it sin. But it's how we choose to cope with it. And it's going to determine our ability to overcome it. That's right. Amen. That's Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Now, what... I want to talk about as far as disappointment. Please don't, uh, again, piggybacking off of what Minister Washington said, don't feel like you're out of place or Amen. you're doing something that you shouldn't do or feeling something that you shouldn't feel when you get disappointed. Amen. Everybody does at some point in their life. Amen. It's a natural human emotion. Amen. It's a it's in the family of sadness, like she Amen. said. Amen. So you're a human being. Are you not gonna be sad sometimes if some if stuff don't go your way? Amen. Things are not gonna go our way all the time. Amen. So that's where disappointment comes in. Amen. 
but you don't have to just continue to feel disappointed about this thing Amen. or that thing. Amen. You know, you can overcome it. Amen. And there are ways that you can overcome it. We'll get into that in Amen. just a moment. But the main thing that we want you to remember is that God has a plan for you. Amen. He has a plan for you. Yes, he does. Disappointed, uh, whether you're sad, whether you're uh, hurt, Amen. whether you're scared, Amen. all of those are valid emotions. Amen. But just remember, they all work together Amen. for the good of those that love God. Amen. And who are the called? We are all called for a specific purpose. Amen. God has a plan for each one of our lives. Amen. Amen. So don't feel bad if you're saved and you get disappointed. Amen. If you're saved and you get angry. Amen. If you're saved and you get hurt. Amen. Those are valid emotions Amen. for a human being Amen. to feel. Amen. 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 So the first thing you want to do is acknowledge those feelings. Amen. You know, just acknowledge, hey, I got hurt behind this. Amen. Hey, I'm disappointed that things didn't work out the way that they that I expected them to work out. Amen. I'm hurt. Amen. I'm angry. I'm mad. I want to punch something. Amen. But just remember that you can't just stay in that condition. Amen. Don't stay there. Move on from it. Amen. But, you know, there's a way to do that. Amen. Everybody doesn't have the tools to move on from something Amen. right away. Amen. You know, people harbor bad feelings for years and years and years. Amen. And it's because they don't know how to come out of what they're in. Amen. But hopefully after you listen to us, you're going to have a sense of, wow, I know I can I can make it. I can do better. Amen. I can come out of this. I don't have to keep feeling the way that I'm feeling. Amen. 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 And in my experience, the main two reasons that we get disappointed is because people and circumstances. Mm -hmm. We set our hearts on people but God wants us to set our hearts to him. Yes. Amen. That's Amen. right. That's and right. He wants us to trust him in those moments of our deepest disappointments. And like I said, we all go through it. I mean, you know, as a parent, you know, you may have your children's whole life set out as the way that you wanted to go. And they may want to defer from that and do something different. Absolutely. And we get disappointed. Absolutely. You may have went through a bad relationship and it didn't work out the way that you wanted it to work out. You know, but then we have to understand that as humans, sometimes when we're in a relationship, we may want that one person to be everything to us, everything that we need them to be. But we have to understand that there is a void that God has created in us that only he can feel. Right. No man can feel that boy, you know. Absolutely. So we have to look at that, you know. And then we have to think about these things. When we do get disappointed in that, we have to, first of all, as Minister Moody said, we have to acknowledge it. Yes. Go to God. Let God know, God, I'm disappointed. I'm hurt. I'm sad. Absolutely. I need help with this. Yes. I can't stay here and wallow in this. And like I, it's, like I said before, emotions are good because God gave us our emotions, yes, but it's is. how we handle them and how we get through it. And it has to be a, a ongoing thing. You know, every time this is we should be able to handle it better That's and better right. and better. That's right. Another thing we go through is with circumstances. You know, maybe you was looking to get this certain job and you didn't get it. They gave it to somebody less qualified or mm -hmm. um, maybe the car broke down. <laughs> And you need yeah. a new car, but you don't have the funds right now. You yeah. thought, you know, everything yeah. was yeah. just going to yeah. go smooth. But if we live in a world to where it was dependent upon circumstances, it's yeah. going to be draw all the time, then we'd be messed up because circumstances are always changing. Yes. You know, so we can't live in a world where the circumstances are always going to be just right. We have to find joy in that moment 
And as in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18 says, mm -hmm. in everything, give thanks. We have to be thankful in every situation. Yes. And the thankfulness, and it's that even when you're feeling his emotions, it's okay. Just give it to God and allow the Holy Spirit to heal you from within. Yes. Amen. 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 Absolutely. And you may say to yourself, well, how can I thank God and I'm hurt? Amen. How can I thank God and I'm disappointed Amen. about Amen. not Amen. getting what I wanted? Amen. I'm feeling some type of way about not things not working out. Well, that comes with maturity. Amen. See, uh, you can't expect a young Christian versus a seasoned Christian Amen. to be able to handle those type things in the same way. Amen. It takes practice. Amen. It takes practice to thank God in the midst of trials and tribulations. Amen. I know because I've been there. Amen. I've been disappointed more times than I can than I can tell you. Amen. But the thing about it is with each disappointment, I was better able to get over it. Amen. I was better able to move on from it and stop just worrying about that thing Amen. that I felt so passionate about at that moment. You know, Amen. And, and, and and that's that's a part of human nature, Amen. you know, to hold on to things that hurt us that hold on to things that disappoint us, but you have to learn to move on from it or else you'll be like you're spinning in the mud. You Amen. won't move forward Amen. until you let that thing go. Amen. So yes, it is possible to thank God Amen. in the midst of Amen. disappointment, Amen. in the midst of hurt and pain. Amen. It is it's possible, y'all. See, because we have to look back into what the Bible says. Amen. Jesus can relate to to the same emotions that we relate to. Amen. In Hebrews 4 and 16, I believe is what it says, where it, it tells us that uh, Jesus went through some of the same things. I'm going to go ahead and read that because Amen. that's important to know. Amen. That our Lord and Savior knows how we feel about stuff. Amen. He, he can relate to Amen. how we feel about stuff. And it says, <clears throat> um, Wait a minute. I'm reading wrong. No, that's right. Let us therefore. I'm sorry, y'all. I got the wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. I done, I done pulled up the wrong scripture. I'm sorry. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come back to that one. I promise Amen. you. Amen. I promise you. But um, but just re but just know that he can relate Amen. to to what we go through. Amen. 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 Go ahead. And just like you said, Jesus knows Amen. our disappointments. Jesus dealt with these same emotions himself. He was disappointed when the disciples began to doubt him. Yes. You know, he was there was a moment in the garden of the city where he was kind of disappointed when the cup and the weight of our sin was heavy on him. That's right. And but yet and still he was thankful in that moment, and it was not my will, but your will be done. Right. Amen, amen. amen. And again, like you said before, it, sh it should get easier over time to get over disappointment. Our response to disappointment should change over time. Yes. It should be more, less of what we want and more of what God wants. That's right. Amen. That's right. And again, and what we have to do is acknowledge it, grieve it, you may have to cry. You may have to shed a few tears. You get frustrated. You want to cry. That's a natural, natural thing to do. And release it. Don't hold on to that thing because it grows bigger and bigger and bigger. And you end up feeling defeated. Amen. Amen. Then we need to go back and we need to evaluate. Okay, Lord, was that thing really good for me? Did I really need that at this time? It is not that God doesn't want us to be blessed. And, and he said he would give us the desires of our heart. But he knows when it's beneficial for us. You know, if it's something that's not going to be good for us at this present time, it may not be time yet for it. And we've got to understand we can't put God on a timetable, on a schedule. Like everything's supposed to happen like dot, 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 like right. we have it laid out. That's right. That's right. But it's in that's his right. time and it's in his, his will. That's Amen. right. That's right. Amen. And we have to move forward. Absolutely. We have to move forward. 
Every time it comes, we have to recognize, Absolutely. acknowledge that, okay, Lord, this is what I'm feeling. You're going to have to help me with this. Amen. Lord, why did this not work out for me like this? And that's like I tell my kids, you know, when, you know, sometimes they just see just right in front of their feet. That's it. That's as far as you can see. But sometimes as parents, we can see down the street. We can see a little bit further. And yeah, it's like with right. God, we may not see down the street, but he can see down the street around the corner until next week, yes. next year. Yes. So yes. he knows what's best. Absolutely. And again, with emotions, when they're going to happen, they're going to come. And it's going to be a wave, a wave of emotions. But it's mm -hmm. putting them in their proper perspective and handling them and moving forward yes. in Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's Amen. right. That's right. Amen. What, what I wanted to go back to something um, you just said a moment ago. Amen. And it brought me, reminded me of what 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9 says. Now, when you're in the midst of disappointment and feeling bad about yourself and Amen. feeling bad about what you did not get or Amen. what did not happen that you expected to happen. Mm -hmm. You may feel like it's not going to work out. Nothing ever is, is going to get better. Or I'm, I'm always feeling this way. Why? Mm -hmm. But let's look at what the Word of God says about that. Amen. It says in 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9, We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. Amen. We are disappointed, but we ain't destroyed. Amen. We disappoint, but we're not perplexed. We are disappointed and hurt, but we are not in distress. Amen. We are all right. Amen. We are all right because guess what? We got a king, we got a savior, we got the Lord of Lords Amen. and the King of Kings on Amen. our side Amen. to help us through these times. Amen. We acknowledge them, we grieve over them, and then we pick ourselves up off the ground and we move on from it. Amen. It's, it's okay. We're going to be all right. Amen. No matter what, we are going to be all right. Amen. Amen. We, Amen. we thank God Amen. that he's on our side in these times. Amen. We thank God that he <laughs> is right here for us amen. he'll never leave us nor forsake us he amen. is always there and, and that's a promise he made to us y'all that he will always be there with us amen. and you know we have family that we can reach out to they, you know we have god he is the ultimate one who will come to our rescue amen. but he put our family in place for us he amen. put our friends in place for us to help us through these times you've got somebody that got the right words to say at the right time Amen. to help you feel better. Amen. You know what I'm Amen. saying? So don't just try your best. If you can't do it on your own, try just pray and ask God to help you through it, to help Amen. you get over the thing that has disappointed you so badly. Amen. 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 And and I just thank God that for Jesus. Amen. I thank Amen. God for Jesus just just Amen. being able to be that example mm -hmm. that we have to go back to 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 go back and fall back on and, and go in this bible and read about mm -hmm. to read about the things that he went through i'm sure he was disappointed uh, mm -hmm. more times than we can count to amen he has stuff his own people rejected him mm -hmm. how do you think that made him feel his own folks didn't even receive him when he came to give them uh, what they needed. It, you know, he had, had uh, Judah to betray to uh, betray him, you know, turn his back on him. How do you think that made Jesus feel? So you might say Jesus is divine. He, he could have stopped it in time. Yeah, he could have stopped it any time he wanted to. He was divine and he was human too. Amen. So he know he knew all the emotions that we could feel. Amen. All the emotions that we feel right now. He Amen. went through it first. Amen. 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 So just know that you can come out of it. Amen. God is on your side. He don't want you to feel that way. Amen. It's not his will that we feel these things and not get over them. Amen. It's not. Amen. So look to him. The Bible says look to the hills. But then it asks the question. 
where does my help come from? Amen. My help comes from the Lord. Amen. 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 And again, those two main points I want to bring up. Amen. If we're going to always encounter disappointment when we have our mind and our hearts fixed on people mm. and circumstances. Mm. We have to make sure we keep our focus on Christ. Amen. Amen. And as long as we keep, if we go back and we keep, stay, I even just, just come bring closer. We're talking, you know, as Christians, we're talking about disappointments, you know, marriage, family. There's times we've even been disappointed in the church. Yeah. And it's hard to get past because, you know, there are those you, you fellowship with and then, you know, offenses take place, you know, and it's like, okay, I'm disappointed, Lord, because these are people who are supposed to be your people, but they're mm. not acting or behaving, you know, the way that your word says behave. And you yeah, can get disappointed right. from that. That's right. But even still, in that instance, you pray for them you, and you pray for yourself and ask God. Absolutely. Amen. To help you get past that offense. Yeah. Because we're yeah. all working, working towards something. We're all working towards something. Yeah. Even in our moments of disappointment, God, you still turn around. Our ground scripture was Romans 8, 28, how all things work together for our good. Yeah. You know, there's a song we sing, everything good that happened, God did it. Mm -hmm. But even the bad things that the enemy meant for our bad, God still turned it around yeah. for our good. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. So even with feeling disappointment, it still could be a good thing because maybe it wasn't your time yet. Yeah. Maybe you didn't need that. Maybe that wasn't good for you. Yeah. But in all we acknowledge God and we still have to be thankful and give thanks to our Lord and Savior, Absolutely. Jesus Christ. Absolutely. Amen. 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 Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Some of the things that disappoint us in life, losing jobs, that, now that's the main thing that I can relate to right now because I always work. Amen. And when I lost my job, y'all, I had to look to God. Amen. I had to to depend and lean on him. Amen. Because I had no income coming in. Amen. But and that disappointed me to no end. Amen. But thank God Amen. that I had him on my side. Amen. To help me up out of this pit that I felt myself falling into. Amen. I watched it happen. I watched it happen, y'all. But he will give you peace that Amen. surpasses all understanding. Amen. If you just lean on him. Amen. You got to find the wherewithal to keep going. Amen. To keep getting up out the bed every day. Amen. To keep getting on your feet and saying, God, thank you for another day. I'm going to make it through this day too. Amen. It may seem like it's never going to end. But I promise you. I promise you, it Amen. will. Amen. And you will feel better. Amen. Amen. And so what I want you to take from this today is that you do not have to remain Amen. in this state of disappointment. Amen. That know that God has a plan and a purpose for everything that happens in our life, good Amen. or bad. Amen. The devil has a plot, Amen. but God has a plan. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So... I just want to thank you once again for coming and joining us this Amen. evening. Amen. Thank you for giving us your attention, Amen. for just letting God speak to your hearts through Amen. this word. Amen. Remember, he's there, Amen. and he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. God bless you and keep you Amen. is our prayer. Amen. Amen. Amen.